Hello there and welcome to Programming Knowledge. So this is Gunesh and in the last video we had seen uh, the correlation between independent variables and uh, dropping the missing values. So to, in today's video we will see the cross tabulation and data visualization. So let's get started. So what we will do first, let me get an idea of how many columns are there in particular data frame. So data frame we had was data 2. We want to see the columns, so data two dot columns will give us all the columns present in the data frame. Here you can see age, job type, salary status. So let's see the gender proportion. So how we can see the gender proportion? So for that we'll need a gender from the data frame, and we'll use pandas cross uh, cross tab function. So we'll create a variable called gender equals to pd dot cross tab so in this function we'll pass first parameter as index equals to the data frame column which you want to consider so we'll call data 2 then slicing operator and then the gender that is the column the next thing which you want is columns so columns we'll consider as count because we need a count of the gender and then we want proportion so for that we'll use normalize equals to true and if you now print the gender variable we can see the proportions of female and male in the population so here you can see male proportion is more that is 67 percent whereas female is 32 percent so now let's see bivariate analysis so we'll consider two variables gender and salary status and we'll find out what is the relationship between them so for that what we can do we'll just create a variable same like gender so we'll consider gender underscore salary stat equals to we'll call cross tab function again and inside that we'll pass index equals to which column we want to consider from data frame we want gender and next one is in the columns we consider the salary status that is a column so sal st at comma along with the gender male and female category we want all categories so we'll consider margins equals to true to get that and the next one is normalize so to convert the count into proportions and if you run it and if you just print this you can see all along with that female male for salary status of greater than 50,000 and less than or equal to 50,000 for two categories we can see that male has 30 percent population who has category of greater than 50,000 salary and uh, female is only 10 percent for greater than greater than 50,000 rupees salary and in the less than or equal to 50,000 category we can see the female says 89 percent whereas gents says 69 percent so overall male has more as compared to females so let's see the frequency distribution of salary status so for that what we can do is we can draw plot using seaborn library so we'll create a variable called cell stat equals to then we'll call sns that is seaborn library and from that we'll call count plot function so in this if you give the salary status column of data frame data frame is data 2 and the column name is salary cell stat if you run this we get a count plot and here you can see 75 percent that is this is less than or equal to 50,000 rupees salary people whereas 25 percent is greater than 50,000 salary people so now we will see frequency distribution of age so how we can see that is we just call the seaborn library again to plot a dish plot so dish plot will show us 
the distribution of edge over the intervals so the column which you want to consider is edge and then how many number of bins we want so we will consider 10 bins so that is 10 intervals or columns you can say and the kernel density estimate that is kd we don't want so we will equal to false so the frequency will come to the y axis if we if we make it kd equal to false if we now run it we can see that the age is given from 0 to 90 and the count is given here and in here you can see people of age 20 to 45 are in very high frequency whereas other age people are not that much now we will do bivariate analysis for, for age and sales stat that is salary status so how we can do is we will use box plot this time so sns dot box plot and what we will plot is we will use salary state along with that we want age also so we will compare both of them and data will get it from the data frame data 2 and we also want to group by this data frame so we will use group by function so data 2 dot group by so inside this function will give us our variable that is salary state so the data frame will be grouped on the basis of the salary status and in that we will use h as slicing operator and we will consider the median of that age. So, salary status will be grouped by on the basis of age of median. And if we now run this. So we, we have a spelling mistake, so it should be grouped by and here we can see the salary status. So people with 35 to 50 age, you can see 35 to 50 age are more likely to earn greater than 50,000. Whereas people from 25, that is this much to 35 are more likely to on less than or equal to 50,000. So this was bivariate analysis for age versus salary status. So I want you to practice for bivariate analysis for job type. So job, job type is a column, job type versus salary status. And also for education, so compare these uh, columns and find out insights from them. So, education versus salary status, and then also occupation versus salary status also for hours per week versus salary status and also there is one variable called capital capital gain so try to get bivariate analysis on the, that also so so this will help you in practicing and get getting more understanding of bivariate analysis. So, in the same way, like I have done box plot, count plot, dist plot, we can do bivariate analysis for all these columns. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video with a different case study.